legacy code. We are product of evolution and evolution getting better, getting better. It's not creating from scratch things. If we can design virus, we can heal cancer. But right now it's Titanic situation. They can see the iceberg, but that's it. They cannot do anything. They see it. They see mm. the, the collision with the iceberg is going yeah, to happen, but they cannot do anything with it. Artificial our neural brain, network our, is working. Our brain is working and our entire body of a human, maybe I'm wrong. I know that one of the nerves or maybe even blood vessel that goes into our head, not, I think it's a nerve. It's not going directly, but it's going through bones backward and forward for it's getting directly into the head. It's just because of a long time ago when we was a fish and the nerve was going this way and when bones was changing, changing from one species to another species. But that nerve was still going there. It's just in a software, it's like a legacy code. And yeah. we are humans. We we are product of a legacy code. We a product of evolution and evolution getting better getting better it's not creating from scratch things evolution is creating a little bit better a little bit better a little bit too yeah, here there is a, here. another example it's a human eye when you are making screen for example would you put the wire on front of the screen of course not you will put the behind yeah. the screen but human mm -hmm. eye have nerves which going on front of your retina and goes back in your brain mm -hmm. And it just, yeah, if you would you design this thing from you, scratch using first principles, mm -hmm. you would never do this mm -hmm. thing. It's a clear indication of evolution. And here you, and here you just created first uh, wires in front of a sensor. Mm -hmm. And when you, and when you just fix that problem in the post production, in the post, in like yeah. in the post processing. And then, and, and yeah, I mean, and this blind sport is just, uh, spot is fixed just in post processing. Just brain is literally removing this uh, dark, I mean, there is a nothing. It's not dark. It's not white. But it works. There's nothing. But it works. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but but yeah, but it, it works. It's not efficient, but it works, and no one suffers from it. And the much. interesting I mean, thing, uh, except pilots, when you fly an airplane. I mean, <laughs> this is only not a octopus. You know, like octopus. The evolution made octopus eye in completely different way. I mean, it's like it's completely different branch. Octopus eye was designed independently and they have nerves coming in the right way they, they don't have blind spot. Mm. <laughs> uh -huh. we have ad other advantages and disadvantages and we don't, didn't become a primary species on earth yet yet well we have all the chances now people are just one guy just went with tourne and saying i want billions of people to kill other billions of people billion yeah. dollars to kill other people and some people saying yes, we will give you. Some people say no, but everything is going. And other side is saying, okay, just give that money, we will nuke you. And we, everyone is saying, oh, we will not nuke us, not really. We will just little by little we have kill a, them. We have so many possibilities to die, even not to die, just start suffering tremendously. One thing I pretty sure happens for certain, it's global warming. It will happen, and uh, there is nothing what we can do. I was, I was watching multiple ideas how we can fix this. Oh, let's paint the whole earth with the um, aluminum powder. It will bounce the sunlight. There is a not you cannot do too much. It it just going to happen, and <laughs> we can make it slower, but it's still going to happen. And the the uh, the thing is like a people just the green thing, right? Like a planting trees it's not going to do anything it's literally not going to do anything with trees because tree will suck all this co2 from the air in the wood then tree will grow for 200 years it depends um, on the tree it will die fall down rot and all this carbon dioxide will get back to the atmosphere trees are um, not going to do anything what we can do with trees we can chop all these trees and build houses and treat them with some chemicals. No microbes, no bugs would be able to eat it. Build houses, make books and store them in like an environment which would prevent them from rotting. So this is the way to capture think, carbon dioxide. Uh, I think, uh, <laughs> so I what think we have to do uh, actually, not to plant trees, we have to cut trees and plant new trees cut trees and plant and we have to use these trees 
to build things which would last for thousand years, for two thousand years, not for but, 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 200 no, no, no. years. But, but we assume, no, 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 but we assume that the nature is designed to keep equilibrium by itself. No, what, what, what would happen? Design. It's very interesting. What it very interesting thing what happened at some point in couple of million years. I do not remember exactly several million years ago. Mm -hmm. Plants figure out how to make cellulose and they figure out how to make these long molecules and bacteria still did not figure out how to eat this thing. So plants were just thriving and they were just making so much of this material and they were sucking carbon dioxide from atmosphere. We, we used to have pretty a lot of carbon dioxide in atmosphere mm -hmm. and planet was pretty warm at this point. So it was very mm -hmm. good environment for plants and bacteria, microorganisms, bugs did not figure out how to eat this stuff. Plants were growing all this stuff, then it's falling down on the ground and it cannot rot. To, to rot, mm -hmm. bacteria has to eat this thing. <laughs> so it was just laying down in the ground. Essentially, it's um, become um, fossil fuel. And now we're just burning it back and giving back. And at some point, plants actually were suffering because there is not too much carbon dioxide in the, in the earth. And you know, I have a conspiracy theory. Plants were thinking, mm -hmm. okay, we do not have too much carbon dioxide. What we can do? We have to make humans... So humans will found our dead bodies and they burn them <laughs> and return back to CO2 in the atmosphere so we can get back to we the thriving stage. Yeah. With all power that humankind have, I don't think we have a problem at all. If you want to prevent this to happen, we can prevent it to happen. But we are so busy with I mean, we have yes. we had chance in 80s to prevent this thing. In 80s, we can just do full stop and would be fine. But right now, it's Titanic situation. They can see the iceberg, but that's it. They cannot do anything. They see it. They see mm. the, the collision with the iceberg is going yeah, to happen, but they cannot do anything with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can. We cannot prevent uh, Titanic. Yeah, I mean, it's like a, they can do like a full stop, but right? They can, so they can but make they can it do, like no, a little no. bit later, and they can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but but we can but we can find a way how to save people or how to save our civilization. Mm. I mean, so yeah, it's like Elon still... Musk right now is working on the going to the Mars. Mars I don't think like a whole Mars, humanity Mars. will die during the global warming. I don't think so. Mm, I'm hoping humanity be, will survive, but it's going to be very miserable. It's going adjust, to be. Adjust, we, we will adjust and we... Now we have so big population and we have such and a... And you know, life. and there is, it's not a big population. Look at this. Do you remember we, we crossed uh, America? Did mm. you see too many... And we were driving on the... On the road, we're mm -hmm. supposed to have. Did you see population? It it's not. There is not too much buildings. It's just uh, nature, nature, nature all the time, all no, the no, way. No, from no, 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 yeah, 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 no, 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 no. But we we created these big cities and uh, the government sitting in big cities and we getting crazy. And now we don't care about future of civilization. We just trying to divide the power mm -hmm. and. Like oh yeah, and global language. warming is just one of way to 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 die. We have our ways. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's not the biggest. It's not the biggest threat. And I think it's like if people will invest so much money as we invested into nuclear wars, and preparation for a nuclear yeah. war. If you invest all this money and find search for solution for uh, for climate, we, that's why people. That's why governments and big organization is not caring because in the end we believe that we can fix it. It's not a big deal. It's technologically, it's not a big deal. I think for us. And the movies. That's why not uh, not uh, giving us a pretty good uh, because like all movies, some super genius invented something and yeah, cri crisis diverted. Sometimes we just cannot do things, and there is in the, in the movies we believe you can uh, design virus which can kill uh, human population. Luckily, we cannot. <laughs> Luckily, it's really hard to design virus which can kill whole population. All, all this conspiracy COVID was designed. No, 
you cannot design virus. If we can design virus, we can heal cancer. Healing cancer is way easier, theoretically, it's way easier to design the virus. By the way, I'm back to electric bikes. I want to tell you about another conspiracy theory that I came to. Is that I seen videos on YouTube that discussing about the problem that bikes are getting stolen. Okay, so and, and, and imagine, they do literally getting stolen, yeah. The problem here is like this. I have a car that cost me, I don't know, I think my car cost... Um, 20, 30, 40, I, okay. Toyota, Toyota will probably pay 15,000 just right now for it. It's an old car. Mm -hmm. Maybe if we will refurbish this car and try to sell it, it will cost again like 25,000. Mm -hmm. I mean, but when I was buying a car, at some point my car was over 30,000, but I'm bringing this asset to the supermarket. I leave it in my supermarket and I have no thought that when I come out from supermarket with my grocery, it will disappear. And I will have all this loan that I borrow from a bank to pay and I will have no car anymore. And police will say, oh, yeah, it's, it's getting stolen all, all the time. And what will happen next? My car will be found by police somewhere on some shop who blow up and just trying to sell stolen cars. So police will take my car and put it on auction to sell it because it's so difficult to find an owner. Do you think I will buy the car in this situation? No, of no, course I will not. not buy a car. But will I buy a bicycle? No, I, I cannot. People cannot buy bicycles because you cannot go to a store. So you probably want to do it with a car. Can you drive a car that costs $5,000? Probably, yes. I seen one car now. Mm -hmm. It's coming. No, my first I car. Like the... My first car was $5,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I seen the car that coming from a parking over a grocery store now. And there is a equator standing. And what happened is the car was trying to come from a parking. And there is like, you know, like the bump when you break in your bumper usually in the United States, and the car standing and the wheels will come off. The car was too old. There is a man standing and a girl, and I think the man looks like a little bit better dressed than the girls. We just went together, and the girl have no money to support this car, so the car just comes off. I mean, cheap car. You don't want to... So people not driving in the United States cheap cars. Instead, we take a loan or... I don't know. We're going to pay it like six, I don't know, how many years, like five, three, four, five, six years of the life. We're going to pay with loan. And we will have a nicer car that is new, that is not it broken. Is... But now, we, but now we... imagine that all this, you buy these cars and you go to grocery store and you have no car. And you go to police and police will say, yeah, it happened. Let me take a report from you. No, we, we don't know where is your car. We will never find it. Yeah. But when you find it, we will sell it. To you. What I think is, I think there is a big conspiracy about these cars, because when you have a car, you pay in taxes. The taxes is paid to police. So if car is stolen, then police is interested to find a car or prosecute whatever who stole the car. Even if it's like a kid took your car, drive for fun and drop it, it's still kind of very, I think it's very highly punishable crime, stolen a car in the United mm -hmm. States. Because it's not your car. It's property of a bank, more likely, who took the, give you car with to drive and alone. First of all, the second one is the insurance company, huge business. Yeah. So, and when in the end, government will, first of all, they will charge you tax for buying this car, that is 10% from purchase, even if you buy used car. So the first person pay 10%, when he sell it to you, you pay 10%. And when you pay next person at 10 per percent. So what is the conspiracy? And when the conspiracy is... Uh, Government intentionally people. making people not, not, government, to, ri not, not to ride not, uh, bicycles? No, 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 no. The conspiracy is that there is a business that is interested for people to keep using cars when people don't really need to use a car and it's not government sitting i don't think something. it's a conspiracy uh, just a setup it's because a infrastructure infrastructure yeah, is uh, built this way there is insurance there is a police mm -hmm. there is a taxes around 
uh, there is a lobby from manufacturers. It's not they build the conspiracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's no, just no. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, but it's not. A, it's not a conspiracy in terms of. It's not a conspiracy in terms of some people. Uh, we're black and sitting in the black room and uh, with light off, so we cannot see each other's faces. Yeah, so the same it. thing is but like no, then no. monopoly starting making the bad products and not caring about yeah, customers. It's, it's, it's not it's conspiracy. Like, uh, it's just mm-hmm. a business need and. And they just driving business, and because there is a no healthy competition, yeah, it's just, uh, they it's just, just a flow in our, It's yeah. just a memory leak. What, yeah, what yeah, you yeah. have in like in, when you programming, mm-hmm. it's just a memory leak. Yeah. So no one, no one wanted, but by mistake it happened. Yeah. And the system is just looping and uh, just consuming memory when it should not consume a memory, or it's consuming memory, but it doesn't remember that after complete the process, it needs to release that memory and just keep taking, taking, and what's it looping up. Yeah, so, it just, um, it just I think, there is no mil- malicious intent, it just happened because so we have a yeah, system so, like so, this. So basically what happened is, I have a bicycle, slightly used, I buy it, it was 3000 but now if you go to Specialized, it will tell you uh, $5,000 discounted for $4,500. I'm very proud of this bicycle, it's not electric by the way, it's a mechanical one, normal one. It's overpriced, yes, it's overpriced for things that I want to do from it, but I really enjoy driving it. You drive in Tesla, but you probably don't want Tesla. You don't need Tesla for fifty thousand. You probably can drive all like a new, but Nissan for fifteen thousand dollars. No, it's purely it's yeah. It's purely just for my enjoyment. It's just a toy. I just yes, wanted yes, the but, toy. But, yeah. But you really like this technology. Mm-hmm. You like how it looks. You like how smoothly it's switching gears. Yeah. You don't have gears. There is no so gears. My bike yeah. Is, yeah, I don't feel how it's switching the gears. The suspension is smooth. Everything is perfect. It's a really superior technology and it's not most expensive bikes because there is a bikes that cost fifteen thousand dollars so but still i mean i have a very good machine and i really would like to go to supermarket and buy some grocery and buy this bike but i cannot you cannot because it's going to be stolen and i know there is one girl she came from chicago and she came from chicago it's first her first job so she started making money and she was thinking okay i'll get the bike she got the bike and it's got stolen in the week because she just not aware it's common knowledge in california just don't leave your bike as it is it's going to be stolen and your bike got stolen unless your bike is very shitty one 200 dollars but imagine our california is like this people driving cars that cost like 500 dollars with leaking oil you come to the supermarket it's leak oil the Nobody is going to steal it. No. Yeah. Is running. yeah, no one is running and no one is going to steal it because if you try to steal it, it will probably even not to start engine. And it's but going to, to give give you so much headache because you would not be able to sell it because it's yeah, uh, it, it it's everything more, on yeah, paper. Cool. There is a paper trail, VIN number. There's no paper trail. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So it costs you more. And yeah, it's like a engine is have serial number, everything on paper, and you have to do yeah, a lot of work to be able to sell it. I will tell you one thing. I bought bicycle from Specialized the california design brand you know where is the serial number on it i don't know 200 no do you know where is the serial number on it i do not know it's on a paper sticker and a paper sticker seller <laughs> <Really? laughs> peel, it, peel, it, peel it peel it off so i can keep it with you yeah i buy yeah. yamaha bike you know where is the serial number uh, i don't know on a paper sticker. On the paper sticker. Okay. Yeah, d- because there is no regulations. Yeah. The problem is uh, right now is a police, and I think it's uh, happening because uh, it's so expensive to live in California, and taxes are more or less same. So government just do not have enough money to pay salary to police people to make them to feel valued or they just cannot hire too many police people and there is also a reputation of of police they just gave up and it's like okay we do not have too many people we do not we cannot pay salary which would be you know you're making as an engineer but salary but, but, right but, but, and it's still but, but, hard but, but, for li- to live for you can you imagine police officer probably making less and police officer well maybe because i'm working in university probably some police officers making the same but i mean yeah 
Um, they don't have too much insensitive to do the job, mm, I guess. <laughs> this is not talking about money here. We're talking about a society in general. Are we interested to be healthier people? Are we interested to have less heart attack? Are we interested to spend yeah, and, and this is the, the problem. I, I think it's a problem of Western medicine, what I mentioned before, mm-hmm. because it's mostly was focused on the procedural health. Okay, you have these and these symptoms. There is a function to give symptoms to the function. The function says, okay, you take this pill. It's very procedural way to take care about human health. And right now, I think it's shifting. Shift maybe start happening a little bit, maybe 10, maybe 20 years ago. And it's a very slow process. Just uh, culturally, not too many people were caring about the health as a whole and not some procedures. Okay, you take these pills, we are going to cut you open and do something. Yeah, we, no, I agree. No, I agree. We, we, we're looking at the mental health like more. I mean, I see the progress mm-hmm. in the medicine. People focus and and on right mental. now, even it's like with mental health, there is a lot of medicine get prescribed like candies, antidepressants. They get prescribed. Okay, oh, I feel a little bit sad. Here we go. Take a, like a uh, true, but it's uh, it's like with antibiotics before. I mean, when you mm-hmm. don't know how harmful it can be. I mean, yeah, some medicine, of course, like a, some mental health problems. ADHD, I think, is one of the greatest examples. Like how medicine works really well ADHD, in this ADHD, I, still, I still i still feel because so many people affected mm-hmm. i feel ADHD, it's overblown it's not <laughs> ADHD is not Hox. um like a moon landing <laughs> no it's not anomaly from uh, oh, because from humans, because of like, amount of people affected uh, yeah it's um and it's, it, it, it's changing, anomaly. right? Anomaly like a, 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 there is a, like a like when... D at the end, right? It's a, what deviation, and uh, right now with D, a lot of people dropping it. They just saying it's not deviation. They call it spectrum, especially with autism. It's not autism disorder. It's autism spectrum. They shifting the view. It's not on or off. It's a spectrum of. Uh, Mm, yeah, it's not anomaly, it's deflection from what is not out of a norm, but it's uh, it's just annoying. It's uh, you are you have red red color of your hair and red color of your hair. And in, I, uh, w- what I noticed in in uh, American point of view, they are looking as like if it's affecting your day to day life you have to be treated so like if if you don't care about things like i don't know like I, you have some problems yeah, because, right but uh, like I, I, people, it doesn't people have a dhd i think people now discover it people have a dhd but people it means that people adhd was like for hundreds of years but it was not considered some people can cup naturally with mm-hmm. it and who is not so they don't need medication in this case yeah not, not, not yeah mm-hmm. we're not we're not just successful in life and they just outcast more, like less chances to be successful, let's say, if you have it. So now you can kind of patch it up with some medicine. The interesting thing is then you're coming sometimes to doctor with some problem. And one of the question is how it's affecting you day to day life. And if it does not, they kind of, whatever, mm-hmm. we don't care too much. <laughs> you, can talk, you, you can actually talk to, have a conversation with doctors, how we trained. I think mm. it's more related with American system of insurance because if customer will have come to you with a pimple, there will be hundreds of companies who can sell you drug against pimples. And obviously, doctor, if your doctor will easily prescribe everything, then companies will be interested, obviously, to sell the products to you. I think there is a kind of maybe low, and you can check it. Mm. I mean, or maybe some maybe. doctors who listen in podcast yeah. can say, there is a f- special law that is the doctors has no right to prescribe you anything unless you seriously uh, affected. Mm-hmm. Because maybe, there is maybe. like a I, I, uh, but because we, we but I lo- like this approach. I like this approach. If it as a software engineer, if it's not broken, mm-hmm. don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, but imagine that person comes to you and saying. Uh, I have tiredness all the time when I'm eating. And I mean, if he will tell you like all the symptoms that he have from like worms in his stomach. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, and you know what by symptoms he have like 40 meters worms in his stomach. But the person is okay with it. Yeah. And you know it and you say, okay, the person is like used no, to it. I, the, he look, knows what he... But like if it's... He if, if person is going to live without any problems for rest of the life, there is no issue. They do look at this stuff, right? Like they do screening, like a cancer screening, of course, right? Like, a, and a lot of cancer, there is no symptoms. You just like at some point realize uh, you're going to die in two weeks and that's it. So they do this sort of screenings. Mm-hmm. But if there is problems which, because in Russia, we were saying, as soon as you get to doctors, they will going to heal you to the death. They, they just exactly, try to... In Russia, there is no, there is a, if doctor see what he can help, he trying you to help, but probably you don't need that help. Yeah, 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 exactly. It does not affect your life. Way. Yeah, 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 because I remember, I remember, this is a very good example. Do you affected by mosquitoes biting you? Well, I can, I, well, unless they transmit you some malaria, you probably mm-hmm. may be affected. But imagine that there is no malaria mosquitoes in your area, but it's just mosquitoes. Yeah. So I was a kid and I was living in Moscow. In Moscow, there is no malaria. And there is, I don't know there is, if any disease was transmitted by mosquitoes in that area. I don't think so. Because like mosquitoes... Yeah, nobody was caring about mosquitoes. Yeah, so. so I was a kid and I was itching all the time. Summer is coming, obviously I'm itching. I'm itching to like red things on my arms. And I was itching, but I don't care about it. I'm not interested. Like, I'm itching, I'm itching. My skin is red. My, but my father, my parents decided yeah. that my skin is getting red because I'm itching. And they explained it to me. They said, look, you see the mosquito is biting you? Yes. So when it's biting you, you will be itching. It will be pain. It's not painful, but after it bites you, you will be experiencing this discomfort. My God, my life changed since then. I cannot sleep in a room when there is a single mosquito. <laughs> Before, yeah. I don't care. I will I be itching, care. but I don't care. Yeah. But we teach me to that care. I can escape <laughs> this. Yeah, but we teach me that I can yeah. escape with small discomfort if I will kill all mosquitoes in the room. But you know how much it cost my father to kill all mosquitoes in my room before I sleep? Probably one hour of his life. Yeah. Every, every evening. Every evening, yeah. To go, with, to go into my room at my small, like, ah, I hear mosquito is flying. So my mother will send my father to kill mosquito. So my father with a mission, he will just go around all the room. He will make a newspaper stick. He will I, be I, shaking all the I furniture. do not know how you were not caring about this thing. I, I do not remember my parents were teaching me. I just remember it was so painful. It's so annoying. Maybe, maybe, no, 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 because maybe you were sensitive. It was immediately painful, but yeah. I have like a delayed reaction. Okay. It's like a pigeon superstition. <laughs> so they bite in me, I'm itching, my skin is red, I'm itching, 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 ah, ah. but I don't care. But my mother mm. decided that if I'm itching, I probably will create infection to my arm. So mm. she trying to prevent mm. me from itching and to from prevent scratching from itching, yourself. Yeah. Itching. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's like it's possible to get infection. If you scratch yourself to the bleeding, yeah, yeah, you but, will get but, infection. But what I'm saying, but, but it's not too bleeding, but a little bit. So I was I was much. itching I mean, myself to the bleeding, yeah. Oh, even so, okay. So <laughs> I was scratching yeah, myself to the bleeding, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was very annoyed. But me, yeah, yeah, yeah. But me, I think I was not so sensitive to mosquitoes. Mm, okay. But my parents teach me that I become sensitive. My mind becomes sensitive. It's just like my mind can yeah. hear what my they ear, my you. ear yep. is not ringing. My ear is ringing. Maybe it was ringing the entire my life. I just started listening Hearing to it. it. Yeah. If I have really physically damaged my... There is a book, right? It's called and... Ringing Silence. Do you remember? Russian book. Zvinyashe mm, Tishina. Zvinyashe, but, but I, I remember when I was in a grandmother countryside mm-hmm. house with called Dacha, Dacha in Russia. Yeah. I remember Summer I'm, house. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm sleeping and comparing to the city, it's so quiet at night. But I was always saying, oh, grandma was a grandmother. What is this sound? <laughs> and she was saying, oh, well, everyone is listening to this little bit of sound when you're sleeping. Like, well, it's so quiet. It's because yeah. you're coming from a city, you never hear how quiet can be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it will be ringing slightly. It was the same thing for me. I was. Uh, it was taking some time for me to get used to the sleeping in the quiet room. Because mm-hmm. in Moscow, 
it's quite noisy city. It took some time to get used to it, to sleep in the quiet room. Now I cannot sleep in the noisy room anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can sleep. I forced to sleep in the noisy room, but I, I believe that maybe tomorrow I will go just to campground and sleep in a tent. Yeah, because uh, that's nice. I really cannot relax sleeping in the city. It's not a bit much noise, but it's always there. Yeah, I do not know if I would be able to. I mean, once no. a day, even for a week, I think no. it's fine. No. I was uh, driving. No. Uh, to San Francisco one week every month. I was working for one week in the San Francisco and then for three mm-hmm. weeks at home. And uh, mm-hmm. I was sleeping in the hotel. I think it was fine. I did not have any problems, but I kind of get this sense maybe if you, all you time. Well. No, no, no. All time to live in the city, it's a little bit draining. There is so much going on, sensory mm-hmm. overload for me <laughs> for one week. It's perfect. I enjoyed it. I kind of like it. There is a things going on, especially it was um, eight years ago. Yeah, I think it was eight, ten years ago. Mm-hmm. San Francisco was completely different city. They do had a little bit of homeless people, but it's one guy like a, staying next to the bar. One guy who was working here at Caltech, he went to his country, Lithuania. He fly from San Francisco because it was cheaper. So mm-hmm. what he did... He drive his car to San Francisco. He leave his uh, car in a par- paid parking. Mm-hmm. So everything was fine. He went to Lithuania for mm-hmm. three, four weeks, whatever he need to do with his documents and so on. He returned back and he pick up his car in airport and parking. It was fine. But when obviously we become late, what we did is we sleep in a motel uh, on the way back just in San Francisco. And in the morning when he wake up, he start the car and it's making awful sound. So we cut yeah, the his, silence uh, yeah. from him. So Catalytic have, converter uh, gets stolen, yep. Yeah, yes. I drive all the way to, <laughs> to San, San Francisco. Francisco <laughs> with, uh, he paid me some money to rent this thing and some for some fuel and I bring him back from San Francisco on my truck. Yeah. Yeah. Where right now, last year I went to San Francisco. It's a completely different city. It's... I'm so sad because skyline, of course, still gorgeous. You're looking at the city, it's so beautiful. There is a Golden State Bridge. It's so be- Everything yeah, is so beautiful. But then you just no go problem. in the city, it's just poop everywhere. It smells bad. There is a, so many homeless people walking around. It's mm-hmm. so bad. Anyways, I enjoyed back in the days, 10 years ago, live mm-hmm. in San Francisco for one week a month mm, and i, I think imagine. it was perfect perfect life for me i remember i came to united states so six I'm, years ago i guess I think, oh a lot um I, maybe I 15 like years ago <laughs> and before i came here it was another hmm, maybe 10 years almost almost 10 years i think so yeah around 10 10 years no uh, i don't think so... it's 10 years maybe seven years no, it was, I think, 2000. I was in, I know where I was working. I was in London. I was in London. And it was my first year in London. And in London, I moved in. Oh, well, look, I just realized we are talking for two hours. It's going to be 10 hours for me editing. <laughs> I think it's time to just wrap up. You know, you tr- Don, no, you just publish it as it is and that's it. And no, let's... it's not going to be good. If you want, you can publish on your channel. I'm not going okay. to publish unedited podcasts. Guys, thank you for listening for our podcast. We are making progress I... in it. And we actually fulfilled the name of the podcast, which is Game Over Planet Earth. It bring a little bit of okay. depressive you know, <laughs> points. <laughs> points. We need to be depressed. But we need to be depressive, but we always deflect from a subject. So, <laughs> so uh, we talked about global global warming. We talked about monopoly, bad practice of companies and monopoly. We, make, we uh, talked about San Francisco, how it's become super bad. We need to have a point. We need to have a point system. So after you finish this podcast, you listen through entire podcast and put points. This was depressive. This is much <laughs> in, uh, like not. I guess I so can like do this thing. System. We'll see. So, and when you say like, oh, today we didn't fit, we didn't... No, fit, I, I was like, like obviously, we, we did fulfill the promise of the depressive part of the, <laughs> of the podcast. Well, there are two depressive guys living in California, both not 100% happy with life. Yeah. So there is always like a little bit depressive, there will be always like some depressive tune, let's say, in what we are saying. Yeah. 
when unless you completely bring me on the subject and I say start saying what I'm saying sometimes, it will be completely depressive. But we will try to keep it at the last podcast. I mean, when governments will be ready to press red button, so we will bring it to a, <laughs> to a full. We probably should do before because we were so many times on the edge of World War Three. There is a high chance it's no, no, not no, going no, to no. happen. <laughs> no. No, no, no. We need to always government what we're doing. When there will be some event, uh, like a third world war or something like nuke strike, we always have news already prepared for like, uh, this scenario. Yep, yep, and news exactly. For this scenario. So, so we have already like, what to tell people like in advance. Pre-recorded. So we need to, we need, yeah, so we need to pre-record, I think, different. We need to always pre-record two versions of podcast. One is a little bit more optimistic, <laughs> one completely pessimistic. <laughs> and then just keep archive. And then you will have some red button in your pocket. So you will delete one version. And the version that will be saved, it needs to be on a golden drive, something like golden disk. When archaeologists, after millions of years, will find it, so we can we can see like... This right, is like, all oh, those guys are our prophecies, yeah. <laughs> So we will just find this golden drive or like CD or something and say, oh, these guys, now we know what was happening there. But San yeah, that's Francisco a, look, was this is an interesting idea to do predictions. Yeah. I guess a lot of magicians making this sort of predictions. They just load everything with uh, I know, all different possibilities. Uh, one guy teach me a very well thing. I don't remember where it was. Maybe, I don't remember who, where it was. He said like this. You want to convince some people, some investors into your business. So what you do is you go to any market, Forex market, and you find the 32 investors and you tell 16 investors that the market will go up and 16 investors the market will go down. So next day when market will go up or down, doesn't matter, the half of them will believe that you did a correct prediction, but it means nothing. The one that you tell not the truth will disappear, but you have 16 people. Out of 16 people, you tell people, tell them that tomorrow the market will go down or up. It doesn't matter which direction. Yeah. But you will like 50-50. So yeah. you go so down you did it five times and you, you've got like a yes, one customer so you, at the end. <laughs> yes. You have, you, you have like, <laughs> so after a few iterations, you have like people who think like, hell, these people telling us 10 yeah. days market, predicted market, he must be God. I mean, he's from the future. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is what you say, exactly. So you, it's a good to make prediction, and it's better to make two predictions. And then people said, oh, hell, how we can know this? <laughs> you know, if you are a YouTuber and you have millions of viewers, you can do this thing on the scale, because with, with millions of YouTubers, you can do it 31 times. You can make uh, 30, 31,000 times. No, no, no. With million, it's a 31 only. Because it's a binary. It's a 2 in power of 31. It's uh, 1 million. Yeah. Mm, mm. <laughs> it's exponential. Uh, okay, but you have, have some followers. I mean, yeah. So but I mean, it's like a, you can convince 31. I mean, it's like one person only. <laughs> at the end of the <laughs> thing. Well, my concern is now like if we going to escape annihilation in the next because I'm living in Los Angeles. I'm living close to NASA and I'm living close. I'm living almost oh, yeah. on the campus of Caltech. And in case of shit going really, really bad, I don't think yeah, it's going to be bad. Yeah. Putin, Putin, I think Russian missile will not have program to go to. I will need to cut The missile cut it will out. not know probably you can just cut out the names, but NASA, it will not miss. And I'm sitting like campus of Caltech is just like next to me. So what I'm seeing and, right and, now, uh, we do have Russian nuclear submarines on the shore and they're just sitting here and they can just sit like for, for years, maybe. I, I don't know, maybe don't not for to, years, but like we, for months. We don't, need, we don't need to sit exactly on the shore, just close enough. I mean, yeah, close enough. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying not exactly on the shore, but in the range. And then mm -hmm. they'll just get the order. They just bloop. Like it's very, it's very yeah. simple thing. Mm -hmm. They can just stay very quiet. They just not running engines, nothing. So nobody would be able to mm -hmm. collocate them. They, they not like staying there and people hibernate there. I mean, the crew is people, so we need to rotate. And that's why Russia doesn't want to give these islands to Japan. Because mm -hmm. I mean, Russia will give islands to Japan. America will immediately put a base there mm -hmm. and put some base on it, yeah. or whatever. 
So there is a reason for it. We're not sitting on the ground, but they have constantly, obviously, rotation. I guess they, they're supposed to have rotation because I don't think even nuclear submarines can stay for years. So they have to go out. Yeah, like, and... humans. I mean, there is a humans on board. I mean, yeah. humans can be this and that. So, but anyway, but it's just like, it's fascinating me that there is some people who have a job and they value their job, and this is the job them um, to sit there and wait for kill to kill people. And Americans yep. doing exactly the same. Same thing, yeah. The entire process is, sounds insane to me, really. And we call it security. I mean, I really, these people need to talk to each other because there is no. I mean, we both from Soviet Union. There is a people we live in families. I just stop believing in uh, human uh, smartness. I do see CEOs, CTOs, uh, heads, they they do not understand too much. They're just doing things randomly and uh, the company is uh, running just because at very beginning one smart guy just set things up and it just ball was just rolling by its own inertia. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you nudging it a little bit, it's it's kind of it's keep going it doesn't matter too much if they are not making crazy stupid decisions ball mm -hmm. is just keep going i see this thing happening everywhere and i don't have too much hopes and girl look at this we do have two candidates and i just there is a no, it's <laughs> both ways are bad and nothing uh, one way may be worse and actually i, I do not I, know which way is worse <laughs> honestly I'm not, I'm, I'm, the funny things with most people i think the same in the united states if i i'm not yet get a passport but when i go into war if i go into vote i'm not going to vote for a particular candidate because he's the best i will just vote against another candidate who, who is worse yeah and this is yeah, insane it just exactly means democracy just doesn't work definition of democracy then the population the people broken, but I think, choosing you know the best of the best mm -hmm. and it's like you know if I, i'm pretty sure if i just go on the street find 100 random people and i would be 100 percent i mean it's like not let's say like a 99.5 Sure, I will find the one guy who is better than two when candidates, candidate. what we have right now. Because America is great. It's not uh, the worst. It's just like, because there's a lot of clever people here, obviously. If the democracy cannot pick the person, but it's not, decent no, no, no. person. It's not, the democracy cannot. It's, not a goal. it's not a goal of a system to pick this person who will be representing. So that's, uh, the the, the goal of the system, right, to, to find the best person who can drive no, no, the country. No, 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 no. The interest of a system is to find an entertainer who will just keep people under some amnesia from real problem. Because if people start thinking about real problem that they're facing... About what you're talking, the, then government was set up. The, the government was set up and we were setting up democratic government. The goal was to... F exactly what i said mm. uh, you're uh, what you're talking about entertainment is like it's it's more like a conspiracy it's like the the goal then the government was oh, set up 2000 years ago or 200 right. years ago i'm sorry hmm? no conspiracies will be saying that there's something secret that people like secret something we don't know this is conspiracy something like um, but here is no conspiracy it's just a system failing but to understand how exactly system is failing I need to apply for American citizenship because I'm now just resident. Yeah, you're, uh, you're a, a alien. Exam, <laughs> yeah, and a part, as a part of exam, I need to learn this yeah. deep down. Because for exam, I don't need to learn deep down. But in, like in the process of one of the, like to learn for a question, there will be obviously a question about how government works. Yeah. And probably I need to go a little bit deeper than just exam questions and to understand I mean, if I you want, say, you can do it right now. I don't know. You can just do it right now. Not enough, no motiva not enough motivation yeah. and time to do it. But and it's uh, like, you, really do, do, do you think you will have enough motivation for <laughs> before the exam? No, of course uh, not. Like, okay, I it's like you, you just go through yeah, this question and just like, remember I'm, it. Okay, well, why we had like a civil war, taxation without representation? Who is the current president of United States? Uh, Joe Biden. I'm what day is uh, Independence Day? It's uh, July 5th or 4th. 
I'm I'm only I'm only clo- getting closer to like my next like will be big one it will be 50 years old yeah so I still have 30 years old to become a president so I have time to before I go to politics I have time so I have 30 no years, you cannot I mean, become president I, because you were not born in United States yeah but I can be like someone who advising president and doing shit yeah, yeah. president and doing doing all the crime and like, criminal <laughs> things but yeah it's, so, <laughs> I still I still have a Put and citizen go, like, money in your pocket, tax money in your pocket, exactly. and so live have, like, enjoyable yeah, I, life. I Sell your soul to the devil. Exactly. So I have plenty of time still. So <laughs> it's not yet counter. Counter is not even even started. <laughs> okay, let's wrap up. Okay, uh, so wrap up is. Uh, I think we have. A, we will have a third third episode because episode. I don't think this uh, government. <laughs> yeah, I think governments will not blow up planet until like next week. Yeah, ho- hopefully. I can ride. I can ride at least five days of bicycle. Enjoy the life so with your bicycle. Yeah. I'm dodging Russian missiles between NASA Nuclear and Alpha campus. Yeah. yeah, I'm just like playing roulette. Like, which one will, which nuke will hit me? One, but I aim to Caltech or to NASA. I mean, just. Uh, yeah, and I think it just has random number generator, and they and they just run every day and look at the number, and if it's four twenty. The, 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 uh, 420 is pretty good number. If it's 666, they will shoot it. And it's like every day they just run run numbers like, okay, it's 69, okay, we're we good. It's 420, okay, we're good. It's 720. I start, I, start thinking, I start thinking maybe what I should do is inside of mountains around Los Angeles in the forest, I need to start making caches of some food, medicine. Yeah, you, you for, definitely have to, you need to, to have stash. And because it's, first of all, there is a fire. We had this thing just recently. You need to be prepared to natural disaster. And uh, earthquakes, I'm not well, very concerned, but like it's also may hit quite strong. I don't think earthquakes would happen, honestly, <laughs> in California. But fires or nuclear strike, you have to be prepared anyways. Small, small things, small things yeah. can always happen. Like a nuclear, small, like... Because everyone is saying there will be some tactical nuclear missiles. They will probably launch it from Belarus, small nuke, warning one. And I think it would be intercepted. It's too far away. Yeah, so, yeah. Anyways, so it will be intercepted. guys, thank you for listening. We need to stop. Otherwise, anyways, it's still going to take <laughs> 10 hours for me to edit this out. So. <laughs> okay, bye, guys. Don't tell, tell all the secrets, just up front. So we, we know everything, but we will not tell you.